Today, I'll show you how you can set up reaction roles using the Carl bot. First off, we'll want to head over to Discord and create a new server. We'll name it Test Server in our example. If you've got an existing server, just follow the steps after we've created it. Now, we head over to the website and go to carl.gg. You need to log in with Discord, choose the channel you want to add it to. In our case, it's the Test Server. Continue, authorize, and now you'll be presented with this page. Click on get started and in here you can type in the prefix that you want to use for your commands. By default it's set to the question mark and the banks click next. We'll just skip this step for now. Here we can add some basic reaction roles. We'll click on colors and then color roles. We can leave that by default. General and click next again. We want to have a muted role in here so we can easily mute the users if they start to spam in our chat. We want the Carl bot to create the muted role for us and which channel should the mod logs be posted in. Just create one for us as well. And then next. And the moderation by Carlbot, just set it to medium. That's a good fit for most people. All right, skip and go to dashboard. And now if we go back to the server, we can see that the Carlbot is in here. We've got the mod log channel. This is where all the logs are gonna come up. The one important thing that we need to do is go into server settings and roles and make sure that Carlbot is right at the top. Otherwise, it won't be able to give any roles to anyone. And we'll just click quickly create a new role called Verified. Give it color of green. And what this role is gonna be, is gonna give access everyone to the server. If we click on general and go to permissions, we can add the verified role in here. It can view and can and do anything to the channel that a normal user would be able to do. You can modify these settings as you wish. Save changes. And we also want to make sure that under permissions and everyone, they're not able to see any of the messages and they can't, they shouldn't be able to see the channel either. Save changes. And you should really do this for all the servers by making sure that the verified role has all the permissions and that everyone can't view it unless it's the, unless they've been verified. I'm not gonna do this for all the channels because that will take ages and I'll just leave it as it is for now. So if the news user comes along, they won't be able to see the general, but then when the welcome message is gonna display here from the Carl bot that we'll set up in a minute, they'll get verified and they'll be able to see the channel. All right, so back into the dashboard, we we can add the welcome message. So go to the welcome and in here we can select the welcome channel and that should display a welcome message to the user whenever they come along. Under reaction roles, we go into here and this is where you can set up all of your reaction roles. So just click new reaction role and you can create an embed. We'll select the channel to be the welcome channel in here and we can add an emoji. This is where we give all the reaction roles that we wanna to give to the user once they've hit the reaction. The message type is the way that we want the reaction to react. So if it's set to normal, it's gonna keep on incrementing whenever every user keeps hitting the reaction button. If we set it to verify, it's gonna always go back to one. And since this is a verified message, we're just gonna set it to verify for now. Now you can hit create and you can see that in the Discord server, this message has appeared over here. So I'm on my phone now and if I go over here, you can see that I cannot see the general channel because I haven't verified myself yet. So I'm in the welcome channel and I see this message and I can react to it. Now that I've reacted to the message, I can see the general channel again. So this is how you can add reaction roles. And if you wanna add more reactions, you just head over back to the dashboard, you add the new reaction with all the emojis that you want, select the different roles that you want to give to the user when they react to the message and it's as simple as that. You can also edit the messages, so if you want the message type to actually start incrementing instead of just being a verify, you can do that as well. And of course, if you don't like the reaction role, you can always delete it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one.